Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a video. Um, this is not an update on the aquarium, but I had some people messaging me um, asking about how I got the molding to look um, the way that I did. Um, so I'll kind of give you a little short explanation on how to kind of spice up, um, you know, stand or canopy with just some extra molding pieces. Um, pretty much just like anything else, if you've ever installed crown molding in your house. Um, it's really just a matter of, you know, knowing where to do a 45 in cut or a 45 out cut. Um, right now I'm using a DeWalt power saw, um, and you just adjust the angle based on where you need for the 45 degree cut to be for everything to fit in, um, at a point. So I'll show you down here, this piece on the outside, you see over here, I'm just doing the molding right in through here right now because um, I didn't do it before but I feel like I want to do it now just to kind of make it complete but this end piece is going to be flat so you see right here I cut this flat already and then this piece right here is angled out of 45 and the reason why I did that is because when this piece sits up here this comes out and fits in perfect. In the same way where this piece is going to come in butting up to this, uh, it fits in like a puzzle piece and that's how, you know, same way anytime you do crown molding it works the exact same way. Um, the key to it I found though to really making the molding look nice um, is you'll see here, so when, then, when this trim piece is fitted up here you kind of have a little bit of a gap between here and here. So you, it looks like there is a piece of plywood with a trim piece that's nailed to the bottom. Now even though that is the case, um, you don't want it to ever look like that is true. You want it to look like the bottom of this piece is pretty much just carved into the design of the molding. Um, it just makes it look a lot more uniform. The way to do that is once this is nailed up on here, you just run a really small bead of wood filler in between and then after that dries you just sand it out so you do not see a gap between this molding and this plywood piece. So once you've stained it and the stain kind of fills any uneven spot that the wood putty um, didn't do once you sanded it, um, it will look like it's just the bottom of this piece is just um, uh, intricate molding or an intricately carved piece. I'll kind of show you over here. So you see there's really, you can't see any gap between this and this molding right here. And then it looks very nice. So that's the key I found to really making it look nice. Um, it's just that little extra effort to, uh, you know, fill it in with wood filler or wood putty, however you want to do it. Um, I use wood putty over here to mold these pieces together and then sanded it down so these actually look like one piece now. And it's just really being consistent and taking the time to do that throughout the entire build project that really makes the finished project um, look professional. So I kind of just wanted to give a little short explanation on how to add some accents to your your aquarium furniture to make it look a little bit nicer. Alright, I'm out.